Hey you guys, welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. The party as it stands is currently Mikulay at level 20. I trained him a little, I grinded him a little bit. I decided that I had some sort of vague moral, scru moral scruple about finishing the grinding because it would take him to 22, which is sort of a stupidly high level at this point. And I don't really want to deal with the implications of having one Pokemon way stronger than all the others. See, cool and beauty. Yeah, I know those aren't really types, but it has to do with Pokemon contests, which is something we'll get into later. And I might show you it, and I might actually not show you it, because I don't really understand it. But it's it's sort of a different mode that you can play the game, and is distinct from Pokemon battling. And it uses things like cool, beauty, smart, toughness. Uh, what was the last one? Cute, but I don't actually know very many cute moves. So... Uh, anyway, Mikule looks like that. Phantasm is the next one. Phantasm was a hero in the other gym for being part water type, uh, but still only has one damaging move, so it's difficult to train him. Zigzagoon, or Ginkgo, uh, still has stats that are sort of terrible, but has good speed, has Headbutt, Headbutt continues to be awesome, and has the Silk Scarf now, so hopefully Headbutt will do a good deal of damage. In addition to that, we have uh, Lily and precept who probably won't do a whole lot. Lily is holding a King's Rock. That would be great if I could use pickup items, but I can't. It makes it makes the other Pokemon flinch sometimes if you hit them first, which can occasionally be useful on someone like Mikule if Mikule ever finds herself himself in need of dealing uh, two hit KOs to people as opposed to one hit KOs. But anyway, so the deal with grinding was I decided that if I train Mikulay up to um, her full, uh, what, what will be dictated by the number of power points she had remaining, she would be too strong and she'd sort of go on a rampage and be in t in impossible to restrain after that. But then again, my other Pokemon are sort of going to need it to survive at this point and to catch up. So, God, I don't really know what I'm going to do about this. I'll think about it later. For now, I've got a trainer to battle. I think this guy is the first Water-type Pokemon in the game. No, because Lotad was part Water-type, but it never used any Water-type moves. I think he has the first Water-type Elemental move in the game. He has... Yeah, he has a Tentacool. And this was why I was scared of coming this way earlier with just Mikule and without everybody healed. is because I think this Tentacool knows a Water-type move, and Water, as one might expect, is super effective against Fire. Oh, that's annoying. I hope you hit with Headbutt and not hit yourself. Yeah, see, that's annoying. Um, which means I probably have to switch to Mikule. Okay, I hope your water gun isn't that strong. Uh, or that you use something stupid like Constrict, which is one of the weakest moves in the entirety of the game. Let's see how Peck does against this guy. See, this is my issue with training Mikule too much. Great Pokemon who becomes too great if you allow him to become too great. I mean, you probably already guessed that uh, Phantasm and, uh, not not Phantasm, but, uh, God, Lily and uh, Precept are probably not going to become very useful anytime in the future. What does the sign say? Trainer tips. Uh, yeah, you'd, you, you'd sort of assume so, wouldn't you? What does this guy have? I think he just does Magikarps, but I don't remember. Uh, fishing in the sea or in a stream. You actually do get, like, a total of one stream later, or two streams. A small but non-zero number of streams is revealed to you later in the game from which you can fish. So, I think these Magikarps still don't know any damaging moves and are just going to splash me. So this would be a good time to talk about something if I had anything to talk about. Um... <laughs> You probably already guessed that Lillian Precept won't be very good in the near or possibly ever future because it takes too much time to grind them and it would take too many heals to get any one of them up to the level of the rest of my party, especially if I've already got Ginkgo for my sort of resident Zigzagoon. Zigzagoons can be awesome, but... Oi, the thing is, Magikarp is not really experienced dense as a Pokemon. It only gives 46, which is... But Tentacool are, Tentacool are, Tentacool are worthwhile use of power points. Magikarp really are not, and I think if his last Pokemon is another Magikarp, I'm going to switch on back to Mikule and just beat it with a power point that I won't need. Because it's, it, they just don't provide enough experience to be a worthwhile source. Uh, yeah. God. Why did I put the down button on the one, not the down button to the one key? Because my down is broken. But... Let's see, what am I going to do when I get inside Granite Cave? Uh, the cave that you probably already saw is... It's called Granite Cave. It's sort of this massive adventure. What you really want to do is... Because you can only catch one Pokemon in a, in a Nuzlocke, your hope is that you don't run into a Pokemon. Because you can run into Pokemon anywhere in caves, as you've probably seen from the uh, other cave already, from the cave with all the Wismers in it. Rust Turf Tunnel, that's right. 
something here. Uh, Pokeball. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that a lot soon. So, basically, uh, what the deal is with the cave is... Because there are different levels to this cave, and because it is a stairway beyond which you can find uh, different Pokemon than on top of it, um, I would deem it a pretty good idea to try your best to make it to that stairway at the end of this level, if you're doing like a Nuzlocke or something crazy before you run into a wild Pokemon, because you definitely want the Pokemon that are down the stairs, or at least a shot at them, they're awesome. He gives you a free HM. Steven. Yeah, so he's down here. Surprise, surprise! Not like there's anywhere else he could be on this island. It's pretty much here or in the town, and he's certainly not the gym leader. Teach that hidden move, Flash. You can only use it after the gym is completed. However, I'm going to go down here first, because I need the experience before I take on Brawly. He's got some pretty strong Pokemon. Anyways, so what you're hoping is that you don't run into a Pokemon here, and you want to minimize your steps so that you can make it down there. So, an escape rope. It can get you out of a dungeon. It is a one-use item. It is for if you're about to die <coughs> and you need to get out. Now, as I've told you, I have to do the dungeons in one go because that's part of uh, part of my rules, which means I'm not actually going to get to use an escape rope, but it's still there in case I find... No! No! I was so close! And it's a Makuhita. That's good. I got the right Pokemon at the wrong time. So, I don't really want to damage it. I don't really want to damage it. Hmm. If I damage it, then it's going to be much harder to train, and I'll have much less time in which to train it. But I don't. But I also don't want to waste a ball on it, like, if it's undamaged. So, oh god, I'm going to try to compromise. Hit it once, but not twice. Or just throw a great ball. Let's do it. Oh, that was probably stupid. Well, I hope this catches it, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be really annoyed with myself for wasting a great ball. Oh! I wasted a great ball! That was stupid! Okay, I'm not going to do that again. So, water gun now. See what... What? That's what you don't want to have happen. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't get critical hits. Critical hits are the bane of your existence in something like this. They will just destroy you with no mercy. Okay, so... <sighs> Gotta get over that. Steven's somewhere down here. I've still got Phantasm first, because there are Pokemon in here like this that are part rock type that Phantasm can deal with efficiently and get good experience from. This is a steel rock type. It's an example of the sort of Pokemon that I want. Ha ha! Ground type moves don't affect flying types. It's an example of the sort of Pokemon I would have wanted to catch had I actually made it those extra four steps, because uh, types like that can be very useful in the coming gyms if you can catch a Pokemon. Wing attack! I was talking about this earlier. This move is awesome. Thank goodness. Although I don't think I have the attack to effectively use it, because it's a flying type move and therefore runs off your regular... Yeah. See, my regular attack is sort of pitiful, so... Wing attack's not going to be my main attacking move. That's going to remain water gun, even though wing attack is significantly more powerful in terms of base power. My attack is enough smaller than my special attack that wing attack won't really do anything, except against Pokemon that it's super effective against. But one such Pokemon is every Pokemon in the Fighting Type Gym. So that's not one at all. But every Pokemon in the Fighting Type Gym is such a Pokemon. There's something here. And it's a Pokemon. Yay! Abra. This Pokemon is famous for teleporting away and making you feel stupid for having tried to kill it. But I'm going to try and kill it anyways. And see. If it damages itself in its confusion, then maybe I'll be able to get a good hit in. And if it doesn't, yeah, it, it, they, these just teleport away. That's the sort of Pokemon that you don't want, want to run into if it's a Nuzlocke and you have to catch it on your first try. There, that's a Pokeball. That sort of upset, um, offsets the loss from that Makuhita. Dare I speak its name? 
that Makuhita back there that sort of cleaned me out. Uh, the stairs are down here somewhere. You can eventually come back and access more of the cave, more of the cave, and more of the cave than you can see currently. But there, there's more cave that you can eventually access. Uh, but you need a bike for it, so I'm going to forgive myself this one time because there's no way to complete this cave in one go. You, you actually have to come back, and it's unavoidable that you do this part now. So, oh well. That's just that, yeah. I actually think... Oh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think... I think that if you deliver the letter to Steven, you can actually go to Slateport and do all the Slateport stuff before you challenge the gym here. Which would be nice, because I don't really want to go in against this gym right now. The gym leader, as I told you, has some pretty tough Pokemon. Man, good luck running into a bunch of errands and not the other really terrifying thing down here. Ha! <laughs> Let's see if you get to experience that. Of course, maybe it's good that I didn't hit an errand, because it would be because it would have been even more crushing to one-hit KO that when you thought you would two-hit KO it. Because they're so cool and awesome and unique. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know where I am. It's been so long. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten Flash, huh? Nah, but I gotta do this without Flash. The experience is a necessity, and Brawly would just destroy me without this experience. Just no question. Like, I need Phantasm to have a wing attack to have a chance of getting through that gym alive in one go. I need Phantasm to be taking out the early Pokemon so that I guess Mikalei can have a shot at the end Pokemon. That's morbid, but it's kind of the truth. And I'd also rather like, uh... God, I'd rather like Ginkgo to be trained a little bit. But Ginkgo won't really matter in the Fighting-type gym because, as you can probably imagine, Fighting-types sort of destroy normal types because they're super effective and... Real, as much as it hurts to have something that's super effective against you, it hurts even more to have something that's super effective against you and can one-hit KO you and sort of destroy your Nuzlocke run by taking out one of your better Pokemon. That's annoying. I don't like Supersonic. It confuses me. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out and try and headbutt this to death. Zubat is one of the most obnoxious Pokemon in the game, or it's sort of... As you can see, as you can imagine, Zubat's a pretty obnoxious Pokemon, but it's sort of stereotypically known by being obnoxious amongst the Pokemon community because they turn up in every cave in almost every game. And they and they use supersonic to make you to make your Pokemon destroy themselves. So okay, but if you have a Pokemon that deals good damage, they can't really stand up to that. Eventually they evolve and then they get even nastier. We'll have to deal with that later down the road. This is an Everstone. What Neverstone does is it makes the holding Pokemon not evolve when it otherwise would. There are very few situations in which you would use such an item, but I figure I might as well uh, get it anyways. Uh, okay. So, I think this is the last level, but I'm not positive. I also think there's nothing here, but I'm not positive. I might as well stay and see if there's something in this. I think this is just a tiny little section. And there's not actually any land up here. But I might as well stay. Phantasm needs every morsel of experience he can get for the coming, uh... Ouch. Ouch. That was... That was terrible. <laughs> Phantasm needs every morsel of experience he can get for the upcoming, uh... Duel, possibly plural, with Brawly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to super potion him, and it's not going to be nice, and I don't want to have to super potion him, but I'm going to. Did I say that I can't use items in gems? I don't remember. I think it's probably better if I don't. I don't remember if I said that I could or not. What was that? Okay. Oh yeah, here's another Pokemon. I bet it's something I can one-hit KO. No, it isn't. It's something that I can freak out about and probably not one-hit KO. Gonna try the physical move again on the possibly incorrect assumption that its physical defense is sufficiently low for me to beat it. No, okay, Leech Life shouldn't do very much damage. Yeah, it's a very low base power move and it drains health, but it's bug type, so it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage against birds, like Phantasm. It's not very effective as you saw and heard. Yeah, this is a pretty good dungeon for a water type experience, so... It's all light again. Here's another cave. Mysterious. Not like I know what I'm doing or anything. Not like I've played this game a million times before and know exactly what's beyond that cave, but... 
Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Okay, so now that I've ruined my chance at a Pokemon in Granite Cave, I guess I'm gonna have to wait until the next route, which is I don't even think until after the gym. So it looks like these Core 3, and by these Core 3 I mean Phantasma and Mikale with Ginkgo quietly cowering in the corner behind them, are going to have to take on Brawly's gym essentially by themselves. Hello! My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones. This guy crops up later at some point. I'll tell you I'll tell you about it later. Anyways, I'd look, but I remember there not being anything in here. The TM that he gave me, Steel Wing. It's a steel type move. It's a pretty decently base powered steel type move. As you can see, flying type Pokemon can learn it. So 70 base power with 90 accuracy. You'd say that's pretty good. You should probably do it right. However, Minus same type same type attack bonus, that's still 70%. While wing attack 70 damage, while wing attacks at 90, and water guns at 60. Furthermore, steel's a physical type, so it runs off a of physical attack stat, which as you saw, Phantasms was 11 the last time I checked. 11 being terrible. And finally, the steel type move itself is only super effective against two other types, rock and ice. Of those two, rock is already beaten by water gun, and ice I can switch out to my resident fire type if I ever run into. So I'm actually going to save this in case I eventually want run into a Pokemon that needs it more. It's possible I will go back on this once I need to grind Phantasm, and if I ever end up needing to grind Phantasm desperately, I'll probably give him Steel Wing just for the extra power points, especially because it's probably not a move that I'll eventually end up using. But at this point, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to not do it and figure, yeah, I'm done with that. So. I can get out of here now. I'm not really sure if I want to. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can go to Slateport. Yeah, you see we've got another Abra here. It's a waste of time to try and kill them, but I might as well use Supersonic just in case. Yeah, it doesn't even work. <sighs> okay. Let's see what's past here. Yeah, you you don't even really need Flash to successfully complete the game. It's just sort of a help, and it deals with one of the more annoying parts of it. Um, is he gonna let me go to Slateport? For you all go out to see any time. Yep. Okay, so I can go to Slateport City now, which is you know the other big city, and probably a decent idea to head out there because there are some trainers up there that I kind of want to battle and would kind of l and it's probably a good idea to battle them before I try and deal with Brawly again for the experience. However, I will say this. Most of those trainers Ginkgo is the one who wants to battle them. And you know how usually when Ginkgo battles things, he takes lots of damage because or she takes lots of damage because she's sort of on the frailer side. Yeah, that's likely to happen. So, hopefully this will work out in the right way. Uh, Slateport. So, you're, I'll have to come back here to do the gym. Uh, sorry, respect the music. Yep, I have something to deliver to Captain Stern, who's around here someplace, and I also have Pokemon to train, which is the actual reason I came out here. So, let's see what this can do. I don't remember what he's got, but I'm going to be reasonably safe about this one, because he's a sailor, as you can tell, I guess, by his bulky exterior and uniform. They usually have water types, sometimes they have Machops. If this one has a Machop, then... Um, Phantasm can deal with it easily, and, yeah, see, at this point I played the game so many times, I just have intuition about who has what and who doesn't. It's practically cheating, but it isn't. Oh, that's frightening. I'd like it if you didn't die, please. Yeesh. I hope it doesn't use a, very, a strong fighting time move or something on me now. Okay, good. Waste all of its power points on Leer when it could be killing me. Ah, the beautiful AI of the early game. <laughs> Never again will, will we encounter pastures as green as these. 
Lucas Sands is white or whatever. You're the best! That's right, I'm the best. The best of them all. Uh, let's see. I can't remember if these guys battle you, but they certainly do something. That something might be just talking, but... Sandcastle's taking a long time to make. Soft Sand. Boost the power of ground-type moves. I have no ground-type moves, but when I do... Uh, was he here? No, there's someone in Umbrella. I don't remember where. Oh, there's this guy. The Seashore House? Where is that, you ask? The answer is very nearby, but we'll deal with that later. Wait, is he the Meryl? Okay, good, he's the Zigzagoon. His Zigzagoon's better than mine, so... I shouldn't stay in. But I'm also faster. And you know, when you're playing a game like this, and the winner is whoever can pull off a flinch, the faster Zigzagoon is king. Or the Zigzagoon with better AI is king. My AI is much better than his. <sighs> See, sometimes it pays to be recklessly stupid. However, in a Nuzlocke, you have to be really careful about battling Pokemon that you think has have a decent chance of being able to tear you limb from limb. Is this worth it? No, accuracy moves are banned, because they're cheating. They're cheating, I say. It's a move that makes it so that uh, the opponent's accuracy is lowered. Eventually, they'll get used on me, and they just make it impossible to hit the opponent's Pokemon. And you just get miss after miss, and it's the most boring, foul thing in the game. Is she the Meryl person? Whatever, Phantasm can deal with... Uh, Kinko can deal with them, I think. I hope. Better be able to deal with them, otherwise I'm in trouble. I think flinching is the answer. Azurl. This Pokemon does nothing, but I can't remember if it can kill me. No, it just does nothing. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out, because mikolay has got the power points for it. I figure Mighty Engine of Destruction might as well destroy it. I think it's normal type. Even though it's the pre-evolution of the water type Meryl, this Pokemon's actually normal type, so Double Kick doesn't does quite the number on it. As you can see, it is decidedly not worth the effort of killing. And I think it just exists to... Oh. There are two! Yeah, it, it's, this is a waste of power points. You shouldn't... I, I shouldn't even have really bothered to use Mikale on them. Or I shouldn't even... Like, in some in some senses, it's not even really worth it to bother to kill them. But, I mean, I mean you have to. But... You, you want to minimize power point usage. It's not... The, that sort of Pokemon is not actually going... Because they're just... That's just a baby Pokemon. I don't even think it has any attacking moves at this letter. At this level. Do you have something for me? No, you have nothing for me. What do you have? I don't think you have another Machop. I don't think you have a Machop. Huh. I don't remember this one as having another Machop. It's fully possible that he does. If he does... I guess I'll freak out a little bit and switch, but I think he just... Yeah, he just he just has Wingles. Uh... That was... Derp! That was the, the epitome of derp. Okay, time to stop the derp. Headbutt is a two-hit KO, because it's headbutt, but I'll use Tackle for the second hit. Because we gotta save our headbutts for the coming trials. I might have a Machop. Yeah, he has a Machop. And Machops means switch. Not to Phantasm, too low on health. Uh, Mikulay can deal with it with a peck. Yeah, I guess I probably could have risked Phantasm there, but... I don't know, that's just really scary to me. The idea of sending him into something that I know has a high attack, and even if it can only deal resisted fighting type damage to me, I don't really want to take the risk of getting caught in a bad situation. What else? And another Wingull. Sort of situation where I kind of want to switch back to Ginkgo, but I don't really want to switch back to Ginkgo because I don't want to get him low on health. So yeah, I'm just going to deal with this with a peck too. Mikolay can just really tear through everything at this point, so that's why I'm trying my best to use everybody else too, and not just leave it up to Mikolay, because I know if left to his own duties, Mikolay will just one-shot everything. And But where's the fun in that? And eventually I'm going to need other Pokemon, because otherwise, the future gyms will tear me to shreds. So, you have to prepare. So, anyway, this is the Seashore House. Beat it to get a very handsome reward, 
that will probably save me in the future. Uh, what do you have? Let's find out. I like this music. That's nice music. Okay. He probably has some Pokemon of some description. And yeah, that's another Wingle. The good thing about Ginkgo is that Headbutt is so wickedly powerful, usually I can take down fragile Pokemon like Wingull. Yes, you'll notice Wingull is quite fragile, which is sort of my worry about taking Phantasm into the fighting gym. Yes, it doesn't take a lot of damage from them, but at the same time, if it doesn't kill them quickly enough, bad things happen. Like, Fighting-type damage is resisted by, my Pokemon, by Phantasm, but just because it's resisted, that doesn't necessarily mean... I still won't get in big trouble if I take enough of it, because Phantasm is not capable of taking a lot of damage. This Pokemon folds under most forms of pressure. Luckily, one type of damage that does not destroy it is repeated applications of Leer. <laughs> so. But I mean, now if we run into a Pokemon that does, that does physical damage, it's just going to tear apart Phantasm, because it's at minus two defensively, and the moves will just do double damage. Is Tentacool such a Pokemon? No, let's try Supersonic, because it's going to. Yep, see? This is going to be something of a long battle, so I figure I might as well get as much damage and sort of as much, um... As much of a screen of annoyance up on the opposing Tentacool as I can, because Wing Attack is sort of pretty low damage output against Pokemon like this. Oh. Maybe I could have just two-hit KO'd it. Oh well, I got lucky with Confusion, but... Yeah, this this sort of goes to show you, Supersonic's not really worth it, especially since it misses way more often than you would expect a move like that to miss. Or no. 55% accuracy, you'd expect it to move a lot, but way more often than makes a Confusion move really worth it. Confusion's not really one of the better of statuses. Like, it just sort of gives them a random chance of hurting themselves. Yeah, great, but it wears off after a couple of turns, and while it's in effect, it's, it's not even that great. Um, I don't remember what you have. Let's find out. I'm going to show you how great... But don't cry! Aww. Zigzagoons or Meryl, something like that, are just useless. <laughs> or just more useless. Or just more Pokemon that scream, switch out to Mikale so you don't waste your power points. Oh, but see, this one knows Bubble, which again would be scary if it had same type attack bo 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 same type attack bonus, or it came from a Pokemon that wasn't as laughably weak as the baby Pokemon here is. This was actually a new Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire, come to think of it. So it was kind of cool because Meryl and Azumarill were, int were introduced in Generation Two, which was Gold, Silver, Crystal. But yeah, see, this is where you become a teeny bit frightened. But then you realize your 8 levels greater than it, and you can tear it apart with one double kick, even if it is water type. That's the issue with this stage in the game. Evolve starters are greater than everything else, and you could just use the evolve starter and get it to a huge level, but then you will get destroyed come the later stages. So, you really have to make it balanced, even if it might initially seem that you don't want to. That, that such move I'm t they're talking about is Surf, we'll get there later. You have to get ba you have to have a ba you have to have balance training otherwise it will both be boring and you will get absolutely destroyed by the elite four when the time comes. Um Goldeen is one of those water types that doesn't actually know water type moves. So, yes it's a fish. Yes that should be scary, but it doesn't actually know moves that are scary. So, it's probably worth the investing of a couple of headbutts into taking it down to size. Although, three headbutts is a lot of headbutts. I'll just go two. Yeah, yeah. Hope that kills it. Or defeats it. I don't like to say kill with Pokemon, because that's hot. <gasps> Moving on. So. Um, come in. I'm going to bed now. Yay. Um... I really, really need you guys to... I need you guys to unpack, but I guess we'll do that tomorrow. Sorry. This room is such a mess, Danny. Yeah. It's really not okay. 
there's no place to walk in here. If there's an emergency, someone's gonna get hurt. You guys are gonna have to clean up your room tomorrow. Mm, sorry. Back now. What? What happened? Nothing just happened. What are you talking about? They're scorching hot, those battles blazed. I'm more than satisfied. Or something. So he gives you six bottles of soda pop. They're basically super potions, but slightly better. This is a godsend, because I will need them to train and to keep from becoming dead. Uh, where are we? Soda pop, soda pop, soda pop. Yep, kill 60 points. So it's a super potion, but slightly better. Otherwise known as... Saves you from imminent, imminent death and or buys your Pokemon a little more time to be trained before whatever they have to do. Uh, especially Phantasm, because Phantasm's going to need it for Brawly in the next couple of immediacy. So that's all this section has to offer. Um, there's more to the route down here if you cross the water, but you can't as of now. Um, time to head into the city, I think. Also really awesome music. Anyway, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. I will see you guys next time. Well, I mean, after I save, that is. Then I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time.